Hi there, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'd like to show you how easy it is to manage and create virtual hosts in Zen Server. Zen Server gives you the flexibility you need when deploying multiple applications on your server by allowing you to create and manage virtual hosts, either on Apache or Nginx web servers and with SSL security if needed. In a clustered environment, new virtual hosts are added across the board on all the servers in the cluster, while existing virtual hosts are added to new members of the cluster. Send Server will validate the consistency and integrity of the virtual hosts at all time and on the entire cluster. Zen Server identifies pre-existing virtual hosts and will alert you if there are any consistency issues. Want to deploy an app on a predefined virtual host? No problem. Enable deployment on these virtual hosts and Bob's your uncle. Virtual host management actions can be performed via Web API, giving you the option to fully automate application deployment in Zen Server. Right, so let's get started. Managing virtual hosts in Zen Server is done on the virtual hosts page under the Applications tab. All pre-existing and Zen Server defined virtual hosts are listed in a list. These icons in the Properties column give you important info on whether you can deploy apps on the virtual host and on whether the virtual host is SSL secured or not. The Actions column on the right contains all the action items available for managing your virtual hosts in Zen Server. Selecting a virtual host from the list displays additional information such as the virtual host type, the time and date the virtual host was created, and SSL security details. The configuration template is the template Zen Server uses for creating virtual hosts and contains the various vhost configuration directives. We'll get back to this later. The other information tabs in the expanded view show me the servers in the cluster and the applications deployed on the virtual host. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a new virtual host. I'm going to click the Add Virtual Host button in the action bar and the Add Virtual Host wizard opens. First, I'm going to fill in the virtual host's name and then the port it listens on. In the next dialog, I have the option to use SSL security for the new virtual host. To do this, I'll first select the Enable SSL security option and then add the file path to the SSL certificate. First the path to the certificate file, then the path to the key file. If you're using an intermediate SSL certificate, you'll also need to add the path to the certificate chain file. I'm going to click Next, Zen Server validates the SSL files, and continues on to the template dialog. The virtual host's configuration template is created by Zen Server and is basically a general design of your virtual host. It contains all the virtual host's configuration directives such as the virtual host's name and port and its document root. For your new virtual host, you can either use the provided default template or edit it according to your requirements. To do this, just select the Edit the Template option and apply your changes. What I'm doing now is making sure a web server listens on port 445. Now the process of editing the configuration template is extremely delicate and can easily disrupt the operation of your web server. Therefore, it should be performed only by those feeling they know exactly what they're doing. In any case, if ZenServe identifies a configuration error, it will give you a chance to fix it. So for example, let's purposely trigger an error here by entering a bad include path. Zen Server's validation suspects a configuration error, but can't be certain of this since it has limited system permissions. So you can ignore the error message and carry on with creating the virtual host, or go back, fix the error, and revalidate the template. The final dialog of the wizard is a summary of the process, which we will review and hit finish to create the virtual host. Zen Server stores the new virtual host. We're not going to restart Zen Server, as there's no need to change our PHP runtime just yet, but what we are going to do is deploy an app on the new virtual host. So let's open the Apps page and click the Deploy Application button. I'm going to upload a neatly packaged Joomla application. 
and on the next dialog I'm going to click the virtual hosts drop down menu and select the newly created virtual host. I'm going to quickly go through the rest of the deployment stages and on the last dialog click deploy to deploy the application. Zen Server deploys the app to the virtual host. Let's take a closer look. We can see our Joomla app deployed on the new virtual host with SSL security enabled. Now say I'd like to deploy an application with Zen Server on a pre-existing virtual host. No problem, all we have to do is enable deployment for this virtual host. To do this, click the Enable Deployment button in the Actions column on the right and follow the instructions that pop up. Because ZenServer doesn't have certain write permissions, what you have to do is add some lines of code to your web server's configuration file. Once this is done, ZenServer will automatically identify the changes and update the virtual host's information in the list. Virtual hosts can also be edited, so you can easily change the SSL certificate or the configuration template. Likewise, in a case of a configuration inconsistency, virtual hosts can be redeployed or removed. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. For more information on working with virtual hosts and deployment, and additional features in Zen Server, visit the online documentation at www.zen.com.